and it's so fast as well. You know, we can cut through very thick plates of steel literally within an hour. I'm here with Will and we're OGM Moulding Innovations. Will, who are you and what as a company do you do? In OGM, we basically, our main kind of, our main customers are medical companies. Um, so we make things like diabetes injectors, we do parts for medical companies that do operations, surgery, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of other our customers, we make large parts, um, electronic covers, stuff like that. But our main customers are sort of fine, very intricate medical uh, products. So if you're making fine and intricate parts, yeah. this machine behind you is perfect for that job. What is this machine doing? Tell me what this product is So making. this is a wirer and effectively what it does, if we need large parts of metal or things like inserts that are going inside the mold tools, if we need them cutting in half or if they need holes putting in, um, circular, whatever kind of shape, effectively it can do it very precisely. And it's so fast as well. You know, we can cut through very thick plates of steel um, in a matter of, you know, literally within an hour, stuff like that. So it's very kind of, you know, it, it works within very fine tolerances. So you can make tiny holes in, you know, in very thick pieces of steel. So this machine has got a lot of high technology yeah. in it. Why yeah. did you purchase this machine? So we purchased this machine mainly because we needed that kind of like, like, as I was saying, we need that speed and that accuracy with a machine. And when we're trying to, when we've got customers who are expecting tools within a certain time period, you know, we need to be able to meet that. And so getting a machine like this allows us to kind of get there with that. You know, we're able to keep our production within the time period that we've set with our customer. You know, and we're able to kind of please our customers in that sense. So I know new investment means new technology. How yeah. easy was the training given by Warren Machine Tours? Yeah, it was, you know, it had a day on, on doing it. And um, frankly, it just, it was so easy to pick up. I mean, it doesn't, I don't think it really even took a day for me to kind of pick up the, the basics on how to operate the machine. It was kind of that easy to kind of just get on it and start working straight away, even off my own back. Um, but it's great to have them in and kind of show us the ropes and get things going. It's always great when uh, your machine tool provider is really involved in your training. It gives, yeah. you, it gives you a lot of uh, benefits yeah. to that. This isn't your only investment though, is it? No. I know you've got two other machines. So yeah, tell yeah. me about the production line you've got. Yeah, so we have, we've got a whole burner um, and then obviously we have a wire behind us and then we've got a, uh, a rotor to the, to the right of us here. And obviously it's kind of effectively a production line. It's say, for example, if we need to make a ejection pinhole, you know, it's always going to start on your whole burner Then it will probably go into a wire and, you know, you'll, you'll finish that hole off. And then finally, once you've, you've done all that and you need to, to finish off the insert and get it to the specific, um, you know, texture that the customer's asking for, it will then go onto your rotor. So it's kind of effectively, we've got it set up mm. in that line. You know, it's like you, like you say, it's sort of like a production line. They go from machine to machine to machine. Um, and again, that also, I think, is what makes it so effective. You know, we know that we can kind of go between the machines like that. Um, How has it changed your production? Have you changed the way you work because of these machines? Yeah, most definitely. Everything, like I say, going from changing tools to changing the actual electrodes and stuff, it's all become so much faster and so much simpler. So customers are always chasing cycle yeah. times. Are these machines running long hours? Are they reliable on the long hours yeah. they're running? So we can normally, we from the stay with from the point that we get in here, to the end of the day, they can be running flat out, um, and e even to the point where sometimes they're running overtime. You know where, you know they maybe have got an extra hour, and we can leave the machine to run and, and finish off the job. We're, ha we're happy for it to do that. Uh, but yeah, depending on what the customer is expecting, or depending on whether we're doing a repair, they can be on and off. But most of the time in here, we've got them running flat out. So, so your recent investments with Rope Machine Tools is going really well. Would yeah. you invest with them on and these products again? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, we're looking, the company I think is, is looking to invest and upgrade some of our old equipment. Um, we've still not got everything state of the art in here, but I think the plan with the company going forward is we want to invest more and basically get rid of everything old style and bring in all this new technology so that, you know, effectively we can work efficiently in every kind of area within our department. So that's, that's the plan.